високоповажний пане державний секретар Сполучених Америки, секретар Сполучених колеги, дія колеги, Сполучених Штатів, наш стратегічний партнер, наш стратегічний партнер, наш стратегічний military, humanitarian and other spheres. We are very grateful for this mighty support and assistance extended to us by the American nation, by the American president, by all of the United States. And I thank you very much for your personal efforts in assisting us in bringing closer our victory in this war, in withstanding this aggression of Russia. And here, the United States remains the huge supporter of the direct budget support. One third of all direct budget support of all the awards given by our partners and friends from all over the world are given by the United States. And we are grateful that this money arrives as grants because this does not affect the state debt of Ukraine. And this is a very important factor in this difficult times. We would like to especially thank you for the support that the United States gives us together with the World Bank to ensure the project Peace in Ukraine, which we initiated in June 2022. Within the framework of this project, the Ukraine has already received 17.9 billion US dollars, including 8 billion this year. All wages that are now paid in Ukraine in the public sector over the past year, including social and other programs funded through this uh, peace for Ukraine fund. We appreciate this very much and we also appreciate the assistance and cooperation with the American side on preparing the bilateral agreement on temporary suspension of serving the budget debt within the framework of the memorandum vis-a-vis -vis our relationship with the Paris countries. I would also like to thank you during our conversation for all the support in the military, sanction and other directions, wide spectrum of all assistance and support. You also assist us in our preparation for the next heating season, which is going to be very difficult. We are grateful uh, for the support of the uh, Grain Initiative. We have touched upon this briefly. Thank you for all the support that you extend to us in this difficult time. When you were uh, on your way to Kiev, the Russians again reminded of themselves and uh, time and again demonstrated their um, relationship to all of us, uh, their attitude towards all of us and towards all the civilized world. So I thank you for your uh, for being brave, for standing with us, for working with us. Uh, this is to uh, Her Excellency Ambassador. So we stand united. Thank you very much indeed. Prime Minister, thank you uh, very, very much. Thank you for uh, uh, receiving us today, uh, but thank you for, uh, most important, the day-in, day-out partnership that we have. I, I mentioned earlier, this is my uh, third visit to Kyiv since the renewed Russian aggression in uh, February of 2022. Um, and each and every time, uh, and already today, uh, I'm struck by the uh, extraordinary resilience of the Ukrainian people. Uh, the strength of uh, your military um, and uh, the very strong leadership uh, that Ukrainians benefit from in this most difficult uh, period. And I'm here in large part uh, at the behest of President Biden to reaffirm our commitment uh, to stand with you, uh, to stand with you um, to help ensure that uh, you succeed militarily and uh, dealing with the aggression, but also uh, to stand with you to uh, make sure that uh, your efforts to build a strong economy and a strong democracy succeed, because all of those things, uh, a military that's capable of deterring and defending against further aggression, but also uh, a strong democracy and a strong economy, are the difference between a Ukraine that survives, which it will, uh, and a Ukraine that thrives, which it must and can, and uh, we will be your partners uh, in that effort, uh, along with many other countries uh, around the world. So I'm grateful for this opportunity to uh, uh, 
assess where we are in each of those areas uh, and to continue the good work that we're doing together. Thank you for having us today.